Welcome to I like to start to tackling the solution. No, 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 no. We don't tackle the solution. Okay. Welcome to I like line. Now we're ready to start tackling second homogeneous. No, no, no. Not that either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Try again. Welcome to electron line. Now we're ready to start tackling non-homogeneous second-order differential equations. The way it generally works is as follows. We may have a second-order differential equation that is non-homogeneous because there's a function on the other side of the equal sign that either has constant coefficients or has non-constant coefficients, where the coefficients are functions of the variable to begin with. In this case, we'll let the variable be t for time. So there's a big difference between solving these two different kinds. It is much more difficult to solve these types of equations compared to those type of equations. And therefore, we'll start with the simpler case where we have constant coefficients. So here we say we'll start with constant coefficients first, and then we'll move to variable coefficients later. There are two main methods in which we can solve these types of equations when they're non-homogeneous. The first method is called the method of undetermined coefficients. And we're going to start with that one because that is ideal to work with differential equations that have constant coefficients. But once we go to non-constant coefficients, then we need to use the method of variation of parameters. And we'll, start, we'll first start with using this method on equations that have constant coefficients to get kind of familiarity with the method, and then we'll move on to using the method of variation of parameters when we have non-constant coefficients. The general approach to start to solve these kind of equations is to realize that the solution to the differential equation will consist of two parts, what we call the homogeneous part of the solution and the particular solution. Now, the way we get the homogeneous part of the solution, and by the way, all we have to do is just simply add those two solutions together to form the complete solution to the differential equation. The way we do that is we find the homogeneous part first. In other words, we take the equation, either one, and of course, we're going to start with the constant coefficients one, and set this equal to zero. Just simply remove it and write it as equal to zero to turn it into a homogeneous equation. Then we find the solution of that equation, which by now we should be fairly familiar with that method. And of course, we can use the characteristic equation when we have constant coefficients. And we have three different types of solutions to the homogeneous part, depending upon whether or not b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, equal to 0, or less than 0. Of course, when it's less than 0, we get imaginary solutions. The roots are going to be a plus or minus bi. And so we have this format of the homogeneous solution equation. Now, what we're going to do then next is once we have this part, we now have to find the particular solution. And that is where we're going to start using one of these two methods, either the method of undetermined coefficients, which is the one we're going to start with, and then later we'll show you how to use the method of variation of parameters, both on equations that have constant coefficients and non-constant coefficients. So that's the general overview of what we're trying to do here. And now we're going to get into the details and, of course, show you lots of examples how to actually do this. And that's what we mean by solving non-homogeneous second-order differential equations.